Okay, yes. Um, define open to, we have approached them, yes. Pretty much, yeah. We haven't, we haven't really gotten into the weeds on the whole thing. It's a very difficult issue, as you might expect. There are very sensitive information, there is very sensitive information involved. We are proceeding slowly to make sure that, you know, that is preserved in the process. Yes. Outstanding. So those of you who didn't hear that, Mercedes-Benz has added all of the other parts with the exception of the valve body, the one that everybody's asking for, right? Um, but anyway, the rest of them. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Perfect. So again, even the Mercedes issue, the one sticky one is being addressed. So the answer to your question is yes. They're very open to discussion, so. Yes, sir. We are currently um, working with the Technology and Maintenance Council, TMC, um, to address that issue, but I, Ron, I don't know that we've made any, any progress uh, to, to speak of to date. Um, that's, it's a very different animal on the, uh, on the um, repair side for, for heavy duty trucks, a lot of fleet issues. Uh, most large fleets, frankly, have access to the service information they need because they're large fleets. The independent repair community is the one that if anybody has an issue, are going to. But again, we've begun the process of discussing with the American Trucking Association, ATA, TMC is part of ATA. Uh, we, we are talking to the right technical people and we will, uh, we will report on developments as they occur. In fact, I think Mr. Uh, Gorman would like to say something about that. Does this work? Hello? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I think that um, on the service information side, manuals and that sort of thing, most of the heavy duty uh, manufacturers uh, are putting up their websites, they either already have them up or you know, they should be up, I think, because they had a 2010 requirement. The scan tool side of it doesn't kick in till next year, or no, 2013. Um, so that's going to take a little longer. There's negotiations going on on that. I know that we just, um, SAE just had a big OBD meeting in Indianapolis last week, and um, several of the heavy duty manufacturers came to me and said, We've got to get this information to you. We need to sit down and start talking about that. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's going to happen. I, I think the big question at this point is what role NASTIF will play in this. Um, uh, there are two schools of thought. One school is that you could have heavy-duty subcommittees under the existing committees. And the other school of thought is, is that it needs to be separate altogether. In other words, it needs to be a separate entity uh, that would manage uh, heavy duty separate. Um, we haven't worked that out yet. I'm not sure where that's going to go, but uh, certainly TMC can play a role, other organizations. I know from an association standpoint, I think they're all connected now. The uh, American Trucking Association, the Engine Manufacturers Association, and the what used to be the Truck Maintenance Council, but now has a new name, um, are all managed by the same organization now. They're all under one roof. So at least that makes it easier to deal with them. Yes, Steve. Uh, I just got an email from somebody who's listening in asking if you either need to repeat the question or they can use the mic when they ask the question. That's fine. Okay. We will do that. Is there a roving mic? We do not have a roving mic, unfortunately. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Yes, would you mind coming up to this microphone here? We're going to use one of the uh, one of the table mics.
It is. Be less intimidating if I was back there. There you go. Charlie, you, you made mention that you, I think you said most of the manufacturers have their websites up. Is there, um, are, are, they, are they segregating them as far as, uh, are they separating emission information from, from non-emission related information and are they starting after a certain model year? And, and then the other question I have is, is there, is, can, we, can we somehow get the, the website URLs listed on NASTEF in much the same way that we have the light duty stuff? Well, first of all, when you're dealing with um, American manufacturers, um, that's all they do is emissions because it's just the engine people that are regulated. No, no other part of the truck is regulated. So, um, for example, uh, Freightliner and, and Volvo, Volvo gets regulated on the engine side, but not on the truck side. So, the, that's one thing. So, if if they if Cummins is making the information available. It's emissions related because that's all they do, okay? And Cummins is a separate entity from any of the truck manufacturers. Now, when it comes to manufacturers like um, Hino and, and uh, Mercedes and that sort of thing, it may, you may get more. I haven't really looked at it yet because they're more integrated. Is, is there a Use the mic, please. Is there a year cutoff? Like, you know, the emission, the, the regulations are effective, what, for 2010? Yeah, I, I, think, I think they go back to 96 for service information, just like uh, some may go farther depending on where their easy breaks are, you know, depending on how they gathered the information in the first place. In other words, if they, if a, if a manufacturer has information in a certain format from 93 on, they, there's a good chance they'll do that because it's easy. If it's... Uh, not, and it's later than 96, they may not even, you may have trouble getting some of that older information. So it depends, that's, that's going to be from manufacturer to manufacturer. Well, you're well, surprising me, because as, as far as I know, as of today, I don't think I can log into to come and service information. So I'm hoping what I heard is, is, the, is true. Thanks, Charlie. You just set that on the table there, if you don't mind, in that stand. Are there any other questions? Okay, just point of order, we're going to improvise from this point forward. Uh, if anybody has any questions in deference to the uh, phone callers, uh, please walk up and use the microphone, and we will, uh, we will answer it that way. That should be available for you. Okay, um, and moving on, Mr. Chairman, that concludes the administrator's report, but the uh, committee reports are next.